Well, hi everyone. I hope uh, you're keeping well at this time. Um, please do get in touch with St. John's if there's anything that we can uh, pray for you or support you with. Uh, we want to be doing that as much as possible, uh, as much as we possibly can in these difficult circumstances. Now, yesterday we spent some time dwelling on the reality that as we approach God in prayer, we come as dearly loved children. And we come to our Heavenly Father who loves us and who loves to give good gifts to his children. Just like, his, just like little children come to their parents in tears or in excitement or in confusion, and the loving parent will receive them uh, with compassion and love so we can come to our Heavenly Father with all that's on our heart and our minds. Uh, to use the theological word, our Father, God, is imminent. And that means he's actively working in all the details of our lives and the details of our world. And like a good human father, he wants to be intimately involved in our lives, in, in providing for us, in hearing us speak to him, in carrying our burdens. And today we'll consider the next words of that line, uh, of the Lord's Prayer, which we thought about yesterday. Our Father in Heaven. As I watch the news, I keep hearing the phrase, we are living in unprecedented times. And that certainly is the case, isn't it? For those of us who've not lived through a world war, we're living in a time that feels like no other. Uh, as Boris Johnson last night gave that announcement to the nation to stay at home, that came with concerns. Uh, concerns about our own health, uh, about our family members, our communities, about people's businesses. Uh, concerns about the NHS. Uh, about the doctors and nurses falling ill as well, about getting the right provision to the right places. The illusion that we have control has been completely shattered recently uh, by this virus, by something that we can only see if we look in a microscope, something so small has sent shockwaves through our world. We've no idea what tomorrow or next week or next month will bring for us as a nation, as individuals, as a global community. But in all that, Jesus tells us that our Father God is not only lovingly involved in our lives, He's also ruling from his throne in heaven, our Father in heaven. Now we might get confused about what heaven is. Uh, contrary to what we see in films and cartoons, heaven is not a place of fluffy clouds and chubby little angels uh, playing novelty harps. And here, when Jesus talks about heaven in the Lord's Prayer, he's not talking about the sky, which the Bible sometimes calls heaven. And he's not talking about space either, you know, the stars and the sun and the moon, the planets. He doesn't mean the heavens in that sense. Rather, by heaven in the Lord's Prayer, in, in Matthew's Gospel, Jesus means the dwelling place of our Father God, the dwelling place of the Most High God, from where he rules with all authority and glory. It is the place from which God rules the whole of his creation, not just our little and wonderful and confusing planet Earth, but the entire universe, the cosmos, everything, it all comes under his rule from heaven, his dwelling place. You see, our Father in heaven is distinctly different from his creation. He is the creator 
and we are the creation. Another theological word we could use at this point is that our Father God is transcendent, which means he is independent and distinct from his creation and he has complete control over every inch of it. He rules his creation from heaven. And for us, that means that even the coronavirus, which we have struggled so much to contain, well, even that virus is in God's control. Now, that might give us all sorts of questions about why he allows such viruses to spread, and why he doesn't stop it in, his, in its tracks right now. And we don't have all of those answers. But here's what I want us to remember today. That in just uh, four short words, our Father in heaven, Jesus reminds us that the God we approach is transcendent. He rules the cosmos. The universe is under his control. And at the same time, he is imminent. He is our loving father who is at work in the details of our lives in this creation. And so when we pray, we come to our heavenly father who loves his children dearly. And we come to the throne room of heaven from where he rules all things. Glenn Scrivener puts it like this, the one who rules the cosmos is our father. As people joined through faith to Jesus Christ, before we even pray, let us remember who it is we come to. We come to God Almighty in the throne room of heaven and we get to call him Father. There is a wonderful photo of uh, President Kennedy sat at his desk in the Oval Office. And under the desk you see his son playing at his father's feet. And what an image that is. Uh, the most powerful man in the world sat in the most powerful chair in the world. With his child sat playfully in his presence. And that is where the Christian is as we pray. We enter the throne room of heaven, the most powerful throne there could be, and we approach the most powerful being, the Almighty God, the Creator of all things, and we get to call him Father. We get to enjoy sitting in his presence, bringing our concerns, our worries, our requests, our delights to him, to the one who rules all things. And that's why Jesus teaches us to follow that by saying, hallowed be your name. To hallow something is to set it apart as holy and to make our father's name the most precious name to us. We are setting our minds and our hearts on the Father in heaven. And we want all other things that we hallow to disappear in comparison to him. We want him to help us to see more of his beauty and glory and splendour. When we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. But we're saying, help us, Father God, to hallow your name as we think of your throne room in heaven and your rule and authority and your fatherly kindness and compassion help us to make your name your character yourself the most precious thing to us well i hope in these very uncertain times as we comprehend our father in heaven and approach him and his glory, that we will all the more hallow his name, that we will be filled with confidence in his rule, 
and be comforted by his fatherly care for us. And let's take a moment to pray and consider that. Our Father in heaven, you are compassionately caring for each one of us. And so we thank you, Lord God, for adopting us as your children. And you rule from heaven. Thank you that even the coronavirus and all our worries and anxieties, they are under your rule and authority. And so, Lord, we pray that as we call our Father in heaven, you would fill us with confidence and bring your comfort to us. And we ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, please do keep up with these posts if you can. Uh, feel free to share them elsewhere. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel by pressing uh, here. I think somewhere here. And uh, you can check out some other videos that we've made. Probably around here and here. Uh, God willing, uh, I hope to catch up with you. Uh, tomorrow.